In this video, we play one of the most powerful vehicles ever introduced into War Thunder. A tank this fast has a 105mm cannon and thermals. This is the awesome Chintoro. There's a guy up here. Tighty GM's flying out already. Sheridan. I'll be why. <laughs> a laser rangefinder. I can hear stuff shooting, but I don't see anything. Actually, what am I thinking about? Found the man. Enemy spotted. It's a 163. A helicopter's coming. I'm probably gonna die here. I'm definitely gonna die here. See, there's no rockets left. Let me burst my wheel. Uh, teammate, please. There he goes. Holy crap. Another one here. Engine transmission and radio. Is that a warrior? Was. Yeah, I see this guy. Let's get him scared first. Just kidding. It's a conqueror. For that ammo. Gone. Falcon. The gag's dead. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, thank you. I'm gonna die here. Fuel tank? Great shot. That's a massive just kidding, by the way. Terrible. He's tracked. Non penetration. I don't know why I non penned it. God. My brakes, my brakes are so bad. Another cabin eight. Got his gunner. Okay, Google, you stay here. I'm going eh? We're gonna lose. Yeah, oh man, GG. That was awesome though, GG. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're looking at the Chintoro 105. This is the original Chintoro that was added into War Thunder way back when. It didn't hull break, you couldn't ammo rack it. It was a very interesting vehicle, and it was 7.7. Now it's only 8.0, but it comes with quite a few changes. Number one, hull break is completely gone. That means if you get EFS anywhere that doesn't actually interact with any of the crew members or the ammunition, it will do you practically no damage. Some parts of the armor layout, even though it's only 20 millimeters and 15 millimeters in places, are extremely bouncy, and you saw that in the intro. An M46 hit me with an APHE shell, and it ricocheted. So despite this thing having virtually no armor, it is incredibly survivable for no good reason. And then we turn to this thing's modules. Yes, it has thermals. Yes, it's a light tank, so it can scout. It will get you in airplanes cheaper. It has GFS with 400 millimeters of penetration, by the way. We can also drop artillery and we have a laser warning system that lets us know when we're being aimed at. Now with the most recent patch as well with the laser rangefinder, it adjusts the gun's elevation to exactly where you need to shoot to hit the enemy that you're engaging. More on that once we get into the gameplay. But by far the Chintoro here's best feature is that it is really, really, really fast. For 8.0 on hard terrain, if you're in a full down tier, Pretty much nothing other than another Italian vehicle will actually keep up with you. On sand, snow, etc. Obviously, there's a little bit of a penalty, but that's how she goes. Now, I've been begged and begged and begged to redo this vehicle, and I was putting it off. I don't know why, but we're also going to be flying out the Sagittario too. Don't worry, tomorrow's video is going to be strictly doing the Sagittario as close air support. I'll get that covered. It's going to be a two-part video. Normally, at the end of the video, I would tell you whether a vehicle is good or not. I'm just going to tell you right now. This is probably the top five vehicles in War Thunder right now, especially considering the patch. Just that it's BR alone, 8.0. There's nothing that really challenges it other than some IFVs that have thermals as well. Th this thing is absolutely bonkers. I can't explain it enough to you. Let's just get into the games and I'll show you why. Right, American Desert, crappy map. 
Still want a, a big one. No big maps to this we are. I like a big map. But guys, you don't do those at this battle rating. Only load here. The guy over here somewhere. Wait. Two really boys down. Back this way we go. The original Willy Boy only. Now we wait. It's two here. Leo? No, can be. What is that whistling diesel noise? No idea. Could be a scent, I don't know. I love this little spot on the map. Oof. Man's got bopped. Two coming this way. No scout allowed. The scouting in the war thunder is so broken. Right. That. That one whistling guy. Type 69, that's not the whistler. It's behind that building. But he's not moving out. Had to press scout twice on that guy. Another zone captured, we have the advantage. Thank you. This dude seems to be getting quieter as he's coming towards me. And there's another one in front of me here. I'm not even going to try and scout that. Because I know it won't work. <laughs> what is this guy doing over here? Getting good ammo rag shots. Now that guy's in a great place for me. It was a Type 74. He's dead. Another guy is coming here. He's just a big chilling dude. Is that a ZSU 57 too? Oh. A shulker. Good tool to dispose of me. But this this map is it's a big game, dude. It's a big game. Is that that Leo making that noise? Holy crap, he's so loud. I don't even know if it is, honestly. Right, we scouted that guy through a building. Hello, Leo. Thank you for coming over here. Appreciate it, dude. Something's on, eh? Why 
We'll drop body there. We may get lucky. I got undamaged. Sixty-two on he's dead. <laughs> I brought the M3. A3 just yoinked the guy with his top down missile. Wait, that T62 I scouted earlier is now dead as well. Good news for everyone. Yeah, that, that Bradley M3 A3 we should have. Probably put more effort into killing him. Are you alright, Leo? Dardo. Just ghost shield this guy or something? I'm not entirely sure what happened. The guy's scouted as well. I think I might have hit that tank in front of me, the, the corpse. I need to move a wee bit. Well, Dardo's giving somebody hell over here now too. Chieftain Mark III, who is now dead. Right, we're in a more dangerous spot. Two C-57-2 is here. Calm down. Less of that, dude. Oh, a jet's coming. Oh. Oh, you're my battle. And we're gone. I think he scared me, maybe. Can I need my gun to fight? Oh! Thank you, Gene. Anyone? I'm being hunted. That happened. That guy's hiding over here. But there's so many loud noises it keeps cutting out the audio. Where did this guy go? Or how the they just died? Is that the Dado making that noise now? E fifty five A. Find them. And I, I hear this guy too. Look. No. <laughs> I got him scared though. Yeah, that was pretty exciting. Dude. That that was the most fun I've had in the Chintoro all day. I still want a long range map, but here we are. Right, Sagittario. Let's do this. It was a lot of fun. Is this our G91 thing? 
Oh, he's dead. What is this plane? We want to get a dogfight out of this without getting shot down by anti air. What? Oh, it's an A4E. No, don't, don't shoot him down, don't shoot him down. I want a dogfight. There we go. This is it. The R4s get involved now as well, though. God, I'm compressing so hard. Oh, yo, yo. Okay. <laughs> I compressed so hard I couldn't aim. And FA6 just crashed as well. Oh, by the way, Sergeant Yorks. Sergeant Yorks. Those are a thing. Are you alive? I'm willing to bet you're long dead. What is pushing the A cap though? I just seen him a second ago. BMP Dead Something on B Yeah, something is on B We've captured most of the strategic zones That's gonna hurt Oh no Here come the anti-airs Halloween it I'm going to come back and try and distract, but I don't think I'm going to do a very good job of it. I'm very likely just going to get absolutely yeeted. It was a Bradley. They can look straight up, right? What anti-air is that? A Shilka? Surely he knows, right? I'm going to die. But it will be glorious. Never mind. Dirty bullets. Oh, and that's it. GG. That was fun, dude. That was fun. Right, we're on big Poland. Uh, what are we fighting? This stuff. Full down to you. Full down to you. Right, this will be very good for us, likely. I'm actually going to go this way. We're going to go snipe things on A. That's the dream, anyway. We can use our... Very high mobility and our laser rangefinder and scouting and this. The Chintoro has it all then. What an absolute monster machine. I don't really even need to hide, I don't think. Those very limited things have dart and we are fast af I want to go in this field and just shoot things that come over this hill like this dude who's going 3 million miles an hour I had something on him but wasn't important obviously that's a critical hit and he's tracked should be a good hit now. No, no, that was not a good hit. He's trying to fight me back now too, look. That is unfair. <laughs> Probably should have scouted him. Wait, there's another one. Hey, a tree? I didn't think my scouting would work. Oh, there's two. A tree again? What are you? Tiny. Load an APDS. Somebody killed that guy for me. Oh, it's a ATGM thing. That guy's dead. I have something on me. Or not. Why won't you peek me? Our 
Driver gonna load an end engine. I hear an ATGM coming in as well, though. Up goes the weasel. And we're movable again. A helicopter was pretty silent. That guy just hit a tree. I have to move a little bit. No damage. But it's Japanese. Wait, what the hell did my gun do? Driver's out. I couldn't even see him without thermals. Look. Hardly damaged me. He got two wheels. I'm damaged again. We're only on fire. No big deal. There he goes. That helicopter did a number on me, dude. Right. We still have a loader. He's just orange. I like how the wheels are taking the longest amount of time to fix rather than the transmission. I see ATGMs firing. Another one is coming here. Oh, I finally got somebody scouted, look. Engine's out. Another Japan man. I think anyway. Am I about to get bombed? No. Yeah, maybe actually. Or maybe I am. Right. We're back on the move again. That thing is tiny. Is that a... T-144. One, one, four. Same thing. Right. See, we're missing a guy. This thing is incredibly powerful, by the way. Uh, I haven't... That's dead. Yeah, I haven't played this for a, a long time. But now the guesswork is taken out. Kinda scary. Wait, okay, there's definitely a plane coming now, and I think he's coming my way. A lot of uh, rebalancing needs to be done, I would say. So we're going to keep out the line of sight of this thing. That is so, we're so incredibly fast. Bad hit. I tried to get his ammo. And he's quite rightly trying to move out of the way now. Not gonna matter much. This might be the most powerful vehicle in World Thunder right now. I need more ammo too. Right. A cap is there. Uh-huh. How long is that smoke gonna last this guy? There's definitely somebody there. God, I could see through the smoke in the thermals before it had even dissipated. An ARL-44. He's the world's bravest man right there. A Sheridan. Well, the Sheridan's dead. And there's this anti-air thing over here as well. Whoever was firing. That guy's dead. And the guy just killed her. Our... 
people on Earth with that? I'm scared. Where are you being shot from, buddy? Yeah, back up, back up. Let me take over. If I die, it doesn't matter. If you die, different story. I've got no heat signature over here. Get our man repaired. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, then. I want to know what's pushing us. Leo's coming. A friendly boy. But honestly, like, pretty scary. I don't know where that McGack is. Definitely would be like in Toronto. Uh, okay. No idea I knocked this crew in an AVRE. But we overpressure killed him somehow. I don't know if that's just an RNG thing, do you know that? Engine fuel tank. He's already not doing too good, this guy. Missing some crew and stuff. Okay, they aren't a friend, they just crash next to us. Still no McGack. I'm here on an enemy. This might be it. Missed anything meaningful. He had no idea where I was. Right, I've only got smoke shells. I need more ammo. <laughs> I need more ammo. I think we just go on our plane. Yeah. Let's cap this point for our team and then we'll get on our plane. anti-air shooting that is or something. I'll get rid of him first. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to deal with anti-air. Well I'm in a chintaro. I sorry it's a Jeterio. Right, we got two rounds. This thing offers no cover by the way. This windmill. That looks like it's coming for me. Oh, he's dead. Let's go that guy. And there's some sort of M16 there. Right. Oh, Jay, are you here now? We're on fire. Nine kills. I'm not even really trying, honestly. Right. Sagittario. Oh, we were very close to a nuke, too. Right, something in open field over here. I'm not sure what we're doing with speed. This is legitimately my first flight out. Legitimately. Um, that guy is getting beaten down on by a plane and four tanks. Somebody away out there. Teammate's got some dude scouted over this side. T29's dead. So is that guy. Wait. And the game is over. That is unbelievable. Crazy. So tomorrow's video, I'm going to be extensively just going to get enough kills to get in the Sagittario. And then we're going to take this plane out. I've already played a few games in it. For our cast, this thing is mental. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It helps the channel out so, so much. I would really, really appreciate it. Obviously, as you saw, this thing has quite a lot of utility, especially for a vehicle at 8.0. I think that 
in full up tiers, obviously things get a little bit scarier, but I don't think this thing should be fighting 7 O's and even some 7-3s that are in the game. On certain maps like Abandoned Factory and things, it kind of suffers a little bit, but not so much where it's just the firewall being at the battle rating that it is. Who knows? Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this thing overpowered or do you think it's at the BR it's supposed to be? As usual, I would like to thank all my patrons over on Patreon for being as amazing as you are. And as usual, a huge shout out to all the tier 3 patrons that are over there. That's Matthew S, Jesse Mills, Bill L, Brahma Nation, Sexy, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Gateway, Houndy, Ian, Jesse Bisma, Justin Darlin, Ken the Salt Lord, Ralph, Raj, Stoyan, The Fire Paper, Trash Panda, Useless Tortilla, Vanian, Warpig, Zema, Ollie Fox, Yogbo, Shaf, Fork, J Tormy, and Mr. Buzzwell. And to everyone else still here, thank you very, very, very much for watching. Much love, and bye bye